Hello, everybody. It's John Lodra here from New Harbor Financial Group. Great to be with you. This is the first of what we're uh, beginning to issue in what we call timely takes. These are meant to be uh, periodic, very, very, very short form videos that uh, highlight something that is timely uh, right here and now and something that is, we think, uh, warranted to take action on either by us or uh, you folks who are listening, our clients and, and friends. Um, for this timely take, uh, I would like to highlight a paper that just came out by uh, Vanguard Group, which uh, many folks know is um, a very large uh, pioneer in the uh, area of very passive, low-cost index based investing. In many ways, they've revolutionized the investment world over the several decades that they've been advocating. And, and we likewise see the merits in index investing in, in for example, uh, the ETFs and whatnot that we use in a tactical model. Um, but I'm going to share this paper that Vanguard put out because it's really profound. And uh, it really has implications, uh, I think, for folks that have money that's statically allocated in things like 401k plans or other accounts that are somewhat neglected and maybe not looked at uh, very often and, and are just buy and hold uh, because the, the vanguard paper is really profound and it come from uh one of the arguably the the largest proponent of passive investing it really means something so without further ado i'm going to share uh, a, a screen of this paper um and we'll just pull out a couple highlights so this is a pretty wonky title of the paper and it's a research paper, so it, it's the title is, is written as such. But let's just focus on some key takeaways. So first of all, um, they say 10-year annualized returns for stock and bond markets can fluctuate drastically over time with a historic lows of negative 5% for stocks. This is over annual, over 10 years, and 0% for bonds. These depressed medium term, term returns could have serious implications for investors who seek to fulfill their spending needs through a portfolio. This is exactly what people needing to live off their retirement income, incomes need to do. So this is really profound. The, fur, the paper further goes on to sh say, uh, we show that a static portfolio may periodically fall short of the investment objective of the investor, whereas a target return portfolio has better odds. What they mean by a target portfolio, and they elaborate this in the, the paper, is that uh, when valuations are high and, and therefore future returns in certain asset classes, for example, stocks are expected to be low, really advocates for a dynamic allocation, i.e., a lower allocation to stocks when valuations are high and a higher valuation to stocks when, when valuations are low. That's very much at the heart of our philosophy. We certainly applaud this paper by Vanguard. I'm gonna fast forward to, to some things here a couple later on because this, this really highlights the implications, I think, for folks. So if you look here, later on they talk about historically 60-40, 60% stock, 40% bond portfolio. You know, if you look at the worst period for that kind of portfolio was 1935, which was 1.1% annually. Pretty, pretty dis disappointing. And more recently, since 1990, the period of 1999 through 2009 was only 1.8% annually. And of course, that's because 1999 was the, the peak of the tech bubble. Now, a couple of real things I want to point out here as relates to today. First of all, the bond part of the portfolio Today, if you look at 10-year treasury yields, right now they're about 4.5-ish percent, give or take. In 1999, this period, they were actually right there or higher. If you look at the 1999, the, the low of the year was 4.64% yield on 10-year treasuries, and they got as high as six and a quarter or thereabouts. So the bond piece today is priced right here and now worst worse than 1999. And actually the stock piece, if you look at some of the most robust measures of, of stock market valuations, and I'll point to folks like John Hustman, who has done tremendous work here, we are actually at or above where we were in, in the stock market valuations today as, as compared to 1999. So the takeaway is absolutely, we could see history's any guide returns for a passive 60-40 portfolio as disappointing as, as this. So that's really, I just, the, the takeaway here and the take action, call to action that I would like to make for folks is to review things like 401k plans that are typically passively invested, oftentimes in things like what are called uh, target date funds or destination funds or life cycle funds. These are by definition very passive and valuation ignorant uh, type investment approaches. Uh, of course, we're here to to help you review those. Please feel free to reach out. We'd be happy to to um, give some insight and perspective on that. 
And of course, our, our approach here for the monies that we manage for clients is very much uh, cognizant of valuation and, and uh, anything but static. Um, I'd like to call your attention if you'd like to see a link to this paper and some others by folks like GMO and John Hussman that are very resembling of this Vanguard paper, please go visit our newly launched Twitter uh, or X as we might call it site. Uh, there's a link in a recent post earlier this week. Uh, and of course you can call our office and we'll send you a link as well. But thank you for listening to this seminal uh, timely take and we're gonna make sure we issue these uh, periodically, but really with a, an eye towards them being timely and having something of substance uh, for our clients to take action on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.